What do you believe you saw? I don't know what I believe. They killed those cops. A warning to me is sacrifice to them. Sacrifice? Like what, for, for God? What's a God? Can we even know they exist? People believe things, which means they're real. That means we know they exist. So what came first, gods or the people who believed in them? All right, so where was all this before I met you? On the periphery, just outside. There's always a window. People are frightened to look through it. Safer in the prison cell. We're not safe now. No, we're not. Who are you? My baby. You're what? I'm mommy baby. You're my baby? Yes. And <laughs> I'm fucking cute. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I'm taking applications for an arch nemesis. There's no real specific um, requirements, but you do have to be kind of hot because uh, unspoken sexual tension is going to be an important part of this relationship. We're broke, remember? What was I supposed to do? Fill the tank, shoot the guy, and drive off? Mm hmm. Now you tell me! a cold, indiscriminate monster. It doesn't care if you're old or newborn. It exists to kill. You and I are nothing to it. It has no heart or soul or conscience. Do we fear it? Yeah. Do we cower before it? Hell no. We're the blood and guts human race. And we win. <gasps> oh my god, I'm back. Guess who's back? Back again. And I don't know the lyrics to the rest of that song. Me, I'm back. I have content for you guys. Woohoo! So, um, I've just spent what feels like an eternity filming TikToks in my Christmas Joker cosplay. So I have a hundred drafts. Or about a hundred, give or take, depending, whatever. Um, so they'll be uploaded every two hours because I'm amazing like that. <laughs> and also really annoying. Yay! Um, but Christmas Joker will be up first, and then when I have a chance, I will bring out Christmas Harley, because I have a bunch of Harley Quinn audio to use up, and then I will probably go quiet again, because I'm fun like that. Woohoo! Um, so I tried to be clever with transitions and all that. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. But I'm actually had a lot of fun today, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos I post up. Make sure you follow me if you see my videos. <laughs> She was grand Fell in love Found out first hand Went well for a week or two Then it all came unclued In a trap Trip I can't grip Never thought I'd be the one who'd sleep Then I started to realize I was living one big lie She Tired of my lady. Why? We
We've been together too long. What was your relationship like? Like a worn out recording. Of what? Funny animal sounds? Of a favorite song. That makes more sense. So while she lay there sleeping. What were you doing? I read the paper in bed. Which section? Obituaries? And in the personal column. What did you read? There was this letter I read. Oh my crap! What did it say? If you like pina colada. I do! I love to drink! Get like that. If you're not into yoga, I don't exercise. If you have half a brain, I do have half a brain. If you like making love at midnight, ew, gross. In the dunes of the cave, when you get sand in your butt, I'm the love that you look for. What? We just met. Write to me and escape. Uh, no thanks. Hard pass. Reasons you don't date a cosplayer. Number one, five minutes ago, I looked like this. And now, Cosplayers are the ultimate catfish. Ever love someone so much you would do anything for them? Yeah. Well, make that someone yourself and do whatever the hell you want. I guess Peter Pan was right. Growing up so wasted time. So I think I'll fly away. Set a course for brighter days. Find the second star I'm sore. And then straight on to the moor Then I know that I'll be fine Cause I know Peter Pan was right What? You want me to apologize? He's a buffoon, you want me to apologize to a buffoon? Fine. Buffoon. I sincerely apologize for stealing your muffin, but I did not eat it. I threw it away. Out of spite. Because I spite you. Is that sufficient? Oh, one more thing. If I wanted to kill myself, I would climb your ego and jump to your IQ. There. And no, don't change the subject. Cause you're my favorite subject. My sweet, submissive subject. My loyal, royal... I hope you guys are aware that when I see notifications come in when I'm on this app, I check them. I check your accounts and I stalk you. Yes, I scroll farther back than I probably should. But I stalk you guys, I see what you're up to. Help, I'm looking for TikTokers that were born in the 90s. Please tell me I'm not alone. It's been one week since you looked at me. Please look at me again, I'm lonely. Allow myself to introduce myself. Honey, I don't have an attitude. I just have a personality you can't handle. If you shame a cosplayer for their size, race and skin color, gender, etc., do not even consider yourself a part of the cosplay community. Cosplay is for fun! So, people have been asking me who my favorite TikToker is, and being completely honest and throwing it out there, it is that person right there. You should be following them. And go ahead and follow me too. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Bart! Why are you doing that? I don't know. You look like a girl. Am I a pretty girl? Oh, well, um, you're, you're beautiful. You better grow eyes in the back of your fucking head, you horned piece of shit, because I'm not gonna sleep until worms are crawling up your foam rubber ass. I'm going on safari, motherfucker. Safari. Sometimes I'll be out in public, and I'm like, oh my god, like... Why are people staring at me? Like, what the fuck? And then I remember I look like this. Like this video if you should be doing something else, but instead you're watching TikTok because you downloaded it as a joke and now you're addicted. What the hell did you do? In my defense, you left me unsupervised. You're a grown ass adult. And you left me unsupervised. People are always saying that I wear too much makeup and I look like a fucking clown. What the fuck do you think I'm supposed to look like? Natural? Hello everybody, welcome to my TED talk. Today I'll be discussing how I feel cute as shit. I feel cute as shit. Thank you, have a good day. My son died. Did you say you want to cancel Christmas? Yeah. Why? Because 
I'm, I'm allergic to Santa. You're allergic to Santa? Did you say you want to cancel Christmas? Yeah. Why? Because I'm, I'm allergic to Santa. You're allergic to Santa? Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel and the Joker got away. Someone asked if my mom ever gets to see like the crazy stuff I do. Nothing can scare that woman. She raised me. She feels no fear. You think I'm scary? Holy shit! Tis the season to beat you up. Fa la 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 la. Come catch these hands. Okay, see, that is not Christmas spirit. Hey guys, so thank you for following this account. I absolutely love that you've been doing that. But this is actually my sound account, so it's basically for sounds that I want to use on my main. Um, so my main is actually in the description box here. Please go for, give it a follow. And explain why I'm just like this. And it's a lot more fun to watch rather than watching someone else's content that I reposted. Yeah. Anyway, so please go follow me on that. And whatever. Buzz. I am not mad that you teenagers don't find me hot. I understand that this is not the desirable body type in your age group. But in my age group, I'm decent. And in your dad's age group, I'm a fucking 10, baby. Women can't lead. Women can't win. There is something more dangerous in this world than a humiliated man. A nasty woman. This is the only, you know, if it wasn't for the Christmas shit, I wouldn't fucking work. This is the only time of the year that I fucking work. It pisses me off. It's like, you know, I'm glad to have it, knock on wood, but motherfucker, you know, it's a... Nobody cares about me. I do, Batman. You sure? I'm positive. Only fools are positive. Are you sure? I'm positive. I fell <laughs> for it. I should have known. I am not a popular creator. I've never pretended to be. However, at this very moment, I demand something from you. I demand questions. Put them in the comments and I will give you answers. Please, for the sake of all that is interesting, make them good. You need to tell him right now. I don't know. He's so happy right now. And why do I have to be the one to tell him? Because I'm the head elf. I don't give bad news. It's one of the perks of my seniority. You need to tell him right now. I don't know. He's so happy right now. And why do I have to be the one to tell him? Because I'm the head elf. I don't give bad news. It's one of the perks of my seniority. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? I know him. I know him. He'll be here to take pictures with all the children. Cosplayers, duet this video after you're out of cosplay and you just have the makeup on, so you just look really crazy. This is me. I did uh, Bloody Percy Jackson. Wow, I'm so glad Christmas is here and I can take a break. That was a lot of gifts to make for a lot of kids. That sounds exhausting. When do you start work again? Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow? There's only 364 days left till Christmas next year. Glad I don't have your job. I told you if we didn't make it back in time for Christmas, I was gonna whoop your ass, didn't I? Dude, come on. Well, now you're gonna get it, motherfucker. That's right. You and me. Right now. We're having it out. Let's go. Come on. Come on. If you think your cosplay is good, your cosplay is good. Don't take into account other people's opinions, because most of the time, they're wrong. And they probably couldn't do any better. And that's the cosplay tea. I didn't know you had elves working here. Boy, you're, you're hilarious, my friend. <clears throat> so, on the cover above the title. Does Santa know that you left the workshop? You know, we're all laughing our heads off. Did you have to borrow a reindeer to get down here? Santa, what's Christmas really about? Vengeance! Er, I mean... Presents. I suppose. I'm not scared. Denial is to be expected in the face of pure evil. I don't think so. Doubt! Another unmistakable sign of the... You are very good at decorating that tree. 
Why are you messing with me? Did Krampa put you up to this? I'm not messing with you. It's just nice to meet another human who shares my affinity for elf culture. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through the hall. You are very good at decorating that tree. Why are you messing with me? Did Krampa put you up to this? I'm not messing with you. It's just nice to meet another human who shares my affinity for elf culture. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through the hall. Hey, just a friendly reminder, the people who win wars are the ones who end up writing history. So if you're not sticking up for Black Lives Matter and equal rights right now, well, we won't remember you kindly, but we will remember. Women can't lead. Women can't win. There is something more dangerous in this world than a humiliated man, a nasty one. I really like my makeup and I don't want to have to take it off because it looked really good but I gotta have to take it off at some point hmm? or maybe not maybe I'll just keep it on my face for the rest of my life I can't keep up with things like TikTok trends it's making me angry I need somebody who's old somebody who knows what growing up's like using dial-up mode it's beginning to look a lot like fuck this. I don't like the cold. I hate the fucking snow. It just has to go because I'm going to go fucking insane. Wow, I'm so glad Christmas is here and I can take a break. That was a lot of gifts to make for a lot of kids. That sounds exhausting. When do you start work again? Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow? There's only 364 days left till Christmas next year. Glad I don't have your job. Somebody steals from me, I cut off his hands. He offends me, I cut off his tongue. He rises against me. I cut off his head, stick it on a pike, so all in the streets can see. That's what preserves the order of things. Mr. Grinch, I came to invite you to be holiday cheermeister. <sighs> uh, holiday who be what? Cheermeister. Eh? Cheermeister, celebrate with friends. <laughs> That's a good one. This is a public service announcement. Can you come collect your 11 year old children off the internet? They've been left unattended uh, and they keep telling me of shit hair. I... It's hurting my feelings. Thank you. <laughs> uh oh! Someone has some daddy issues. Nothing could be my father from the truth. Who? You said my father. No, I didn't. How? Didn't. Did not. Shabba. For me, this is a dad issue. Dad issue. Dead dad. Dead be dad. Oh. Daddy didn't love me. Santa. What? Don't forget the Grinch. I know he's mean and hairy and smelly. His hands might be cold and clammy. But I think he's actually kind of... Sweet. Sweet! I know you hate Christmas, but what if it's all just a misunderstanding? Don't care. I mean, I myself am having some Yuletide doubts. But maybe if you can reunite with the Who's and be a part of Christmas... And maybe if you can reunite with the Who's and be a part of Christmas... Grow up! Then maybe it'll be alright for me too. I'm sorry, your session is over. Please make another appointment with the receptionist on the way out. I hope your tree burns down. You're on my shit list. You know I hate you now. Merry Christmas from all our wasted years. Merry Christmas. I hope you spend it alone. I saw your mistletoe outside your door. I'm sure that just a setup for doing much more you can hide yourself in red and green but the whole town knows how you're easy because i've been drinking rum spice cider and i keep thinking of all your lies dear i know it's your favorite holiday I know it is, and i hope i ruin merry it. christmas i hope your tree burns down
leg. The Batmobile lost the wheel and the Joker got away. <laughs> Crashing through the roof in a one horse open tree. Busting out I go, laughing all the way. Yeah, I know you're struggling right now. We all are, in different ways. It's like a new world that we don't even know. It's hard to sleep, even harder to dream. But look, you got seven billion brothers and sisters all in the same boat. So don't panic. Life has a way of surviving and going on and on. We're not fragile, and we sure don't break easy. And if you leave, if you leave, I just, I remember things better with you. I do. Look, P. Sherman, 42, 42, I remember it. I do. It's there. I, I know it is because when I look at you, I can feel it. And, and I, I look at you and I, I'm home. Please. I don't want that to go away. I don't want to forget. I'm sorry, Dory. But I do. And if you leave, if you leave, I just, I remember things better with you. I do. Look, P. Sherman, 42, 42, I remember it. I do. It's there. I, I know it is because when I look at you, I can feel it. And, and I, I look at you and I... I'm home. Please. I don't want that to go away. I don't want to forget. I'm sorry, Dory. But I do. And you'll be mine forever. Hard pass. Yeah, what, what? I said no, idiot. But you have to jump. You can't change this. I mean, this has already happened. It's your origin story! Wrong. It's not my origin story. My real origin story didn't happen here. It happened in your lair. Uh, I wasn't wearing this costume. And believe me, I wasn't saying you were a dream come true. I was saying, go fuck yourself. Harley, stop this nonsense. I, I know you think you created me, but no one did. My fucked up parents didn't make me the way I am. Neither did Jessica Sarner when she fucking lied to the whole camp and said I lost my virginity to a horse. A horse! I or those cops who questioned me for hours about what happened to Jessica Sarner. Ooh. And you sure as hell didn't fucking create me, Quinn. Yeah, well, I named you. You got Harley Quinn out of Harleen Quinzel. Nice work, genius. <laughs> you didn't make me Joker. I made myself. What did you just talk about? Me? Yeah, you. With who? Deborah, sweetheart, you just spent the fucking night in the can. Yeah. Okay, so where the fuck did you sleep last night? There. And what the fuck is that? Police station. And who would you be talking to in a goddamn police station, Deborah? The police? Exactly. So what did the police say to you? What did you say back to them? Nothing much. The usual. What is the fucking usual? I don't know the usual. What's the fucking usual? You know, drugs are bad, prostitution's illegal, shit like that. More things you never say to a cosplayer. Never tell an overweight cosplayer they can't cosplay a character. Never walk up to an overweight cosplayer and go, you know, Elsa's not fat. Because if they do, you have full permission to say to them, well, she is now, bitch. Fuck off. Overweight cosplayers are beautiful and need to be treated as such. Never tell a cosplayer of color that they cannot cosplay a white character. But Deku's not black. 
Bitch, he ain't white either. He's fucking Japanese. Never tell a cosplayer they would look better in a different cosplay. Cosplayers can cosplay whoever they want. You could be a skinny little twig and cosplay Gajiel all you want. Okay, granted, you may not look like Gajiel, but you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, what matters is that you're having fun. Never put down on a cosplayer for having a cheap cosplay. Not all of us have money. Not all of us have fantastic sewing skills. And not all of us know what we're doing, but we're doing our best. And don't you know, Looking like a true survivor A feeling like a little kid And I still stand After all this time Breaking up the pieces of my life Without you on my mind I wish that you could see the pain that I've seen And all of the times I spent being not me I hope you know that it's not always happy in my head Cause I don't know The perfect road to go down But I know I'm trying my best I'm trying my best to be okay I'm trying my best but every day it's so hard And I'm holding my breath I'm holding my breath till I can say All of the words I want to say from my heart 